Hi everyone, this is Sabrina. I'm here with a Happy Mail ARC, Act of Random Kindness, from Ginger Pana. Ginger was actually sending out the um, her creations, which she created for myself and, and Ida during our Faithful Fridays collaboration. Um, I did open the box, but I didn't take everything out. Um, I'm going to move this box to the side. Ginger, um, Ginger was actually my first YouTube friend and she just exemplifies kindness. She has the sweetest heart and I was, I was drawn to Ginger because of how she would talk about Jesus and her relationship with him and with God on her videos and it's been such a blessing just to to get to know her. We've kind of written each other and sent each other little patches back and forth for I don't know I don't know how long it's been now, but um, I am so grateful and I'm so blessed to know to know Ginger and I've really enjoyed just getting to know her personally. Um, this is the card. She sent a letter in the card, and this is so beautiful. So I'm going to I'm going to take out the actual uh, the projects and of course with Ginger <laughs> she she packed the box full of extra extra goodies goodies and fillers. So she was she was kind enough to type out in the letter, you know, each of the episodes. We did five. We did five episodes of the Faithful Friday, and it was myself, Ginger Pana, and Ida Martinez who was created to create. And so her first project was this beautiful. Oh, this is so beautiful. She made these crocheted picture frames. I always say this, I always say, you know, the camera just, the videos don't do these projects justice. And I know we try, we try to show, but once you receive it, like in person, and I hadn't opened these yet, so I'm over here drooling. Like, look at the little butterfly, all of the little, all of the details. I don't crochet, I knit. And for me, um, knitting is one of those things that like when I'm extra anxious or if I have a lot going on, like if I have too much on my mind, I love to knit because it actually helps to, to take my mind off of any type of, you know, anxiety. I guess maybe the concentrating and the counting of it. But I don't crochet, and this is beautiful. So on the back, there's a magnet, and she wrote Faithful Fridays, and this was the first one, which was uh, September 7th. And the first scripture was 1 John 4.10, and this is love not that we loved God but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins I love this scripture because it's just a reminder it's not about me and my love it's that he loved me first okay I'm gonna keep moving look how beautiful oh and then those were in this um, in the crocheted in the crocheted envelope. I love this little this little bead bowl, the little embellishment she put on top of the flower. And another little resin flower on top of that. This is so beautiful. Okay, the next the next project and I know this is this was a, a filler here. 
Uh -oh. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the crinkling. I actually, I know I hear people saying that, but I kind of like it when I hear the crinkling. <laughs> Sorry. Look at this, this is pretty. Oh, it's a little notebook. It's a little journaling notebook. This is so pretty. I love the colors and the little, the little pictures and designs on it. How cute is this? These little pizza boxes. Okay, so this is the um, this is the beaded angel charm that she made, and the bookmark. And this was the second scripture: "For the Lord is good; His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endures to all generations." How beautiful is that? Look at this cross with the angel wing on it. I love these. I just, I so, I try not to dip my hand in anything extra right now. Look how pretty that is. This little, this bead is beautiful. I love sparkly and the little heart. Ah, oh, thank you, Ginger. Okay, so, the, her third project, this is Banner. So beautiful, her work is just, I, I'm truly, I was truly blessed that both of these ladies um, agreed to participate in this collaboration. Beautiful, beautiful work. This was, um, this was the scripture of the, um, nine fruit of the spirit look how pretty that is oh my gosh i can't i'm not going to spend too much time here because like i said I, I do i get caught up in looking at at all of the detail the fringe and then she's got like a little there's a little piece of trim back there the butterflies like there's so much there's so much detail in each of these pieces, she went around and she distressed all the edges of each of the banners. And and crafters, people who, you know, paper crafters and people who do things like this, you guys know it takes, this is time consuming. <laughs> you know, and I know Ginger had mentioned, I think uh, she's like me, that a lot of times, uh, it takes so much time just to just to think about and try to plan, you know, the design of what you're going to make. And, you know, we, we pray and we talk to God. You hear Ida all the time. I went and I talked to God. <laughs> and I, I think uh, Ginger and I do that as well. Um, but it's just, it's, it's the, the time and the effort that goes into this is, is really... I truly appreciate. I truly appreciate it. This is beautiful. I don't even want to move it. I'm going to leave it right there. And then the box that she made that looks like she made it look like actual, you know, pages of a book. And then you open it. Oh! <laughs> what did you put in here? Look at this. Oh, I have been. Dying. <laughs> this is why I don't open stuff on camera, people. Okay, I didn't know there was anything inside of the box. Um, I love these trim. I've been. I need to find pieces like this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. 
The butterflies. Okay, you have to tell me. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to text her a little bit later to find out where, because I love these little, these trims where you can cut apart and just use the pieces on other things. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, Ginger. <gasps> Look at this! Look at this flower! And I was never like a, a big lacy kind of trim person, but I love these where you can, you know, you can actually cut and separate the pieces and just use them as embellishments. I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, I'm going to go through quickly because after I turn the camera off, I'm just going to go through again and admire everything. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. This one, look at this, look at this cream color. So, so beautiful. I don't know if you, I just realized, I don't know if you guys can hear it rattling, but it got super, super cold and the heat is on. So if you hear rattling, that's what that is. This is so beautiful. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep moving along. All right, what was that? Where was I? That was three. Okay, so the fourth week. <clears throat> this banner is beautiful. The fourth week is that week where <laughs> where I think all of us were, were thinking along the same lines, right? The Holy Spirit really had us aligned um, mentally and creatively because we almost all, um, we were thinking about note cards that week. So this was the scripture for that week. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. First Thessalonians 5.11, that's the King James Version. And um, I made note cards that week, and Ida was about to make note cards this week, and she switched it up. And then Ginger made this caddy, which is awesome. This is just, I, this is, I love it. I can't even, the work that went into this. Each of the panels, she lined each of the panels. There's a little sticky note, like this is, you can, you would buy this in the store. Look, she put stamps in there. <laughs> she put stamps in the little pocket. The little pen holder with a pen. There are tags in here, this is crazy. Then the little, the tiny note cards, which I love. And then she left them blank so that we can either stamp or write a sentiment in each of these beautiful, beautiful note cards. This paper is beautiful. How many times did I say beautiful, y'all? <laughs> and then here are larger note cards. This is awesome. This is so awesome. My goodness. Okay, the only, and like I said, I'm kind of going through quickly because I, I really want to, when I get off camera, I just want to go through everything and I want to be able to, um, to text Ginger also. So beautiful. I don't know where to put everything. Okay, and this here, oh, when I saw this, when I watched her video, I was over here screaming and talking to the, to her through the video. This is the, the YouTube sign, the signage that she created. This is just fantastic. I just, oh my gosh. The time and the thought and the effort that she put into these projects, it's incredible. Look at all of the flowers she had. She went into her stash. I can't even, look at this one with the, with the little, it looks like feather. 
and the embellishment there. The little trims or appliques that she put underneath. There are flowers. The trim on the side, the bling. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Ginger. I know I keep like, <laughs> I keep sighing. So this was the uh, the final scripture. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall, ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. It's Matthew 11, 28 through 30. And then she included her information here on the back, she's Ginger Pana, Ginger Pana on YouTube, Ginger Lay Pana on Facebook, and she's Ginger and Jay on Instagram. And then her Gmail is ginger.matayoshi at gmail.com. Absolutely beautiful. And I didn't even get to the rest of the box. This is the, the I would have been happy with just <laughs> With just this, this her projects are beautiful. Thank you so much, Ginger. Okay, so when I opened the box, my husband, my husband was with me, and I told him, no, I'm not going through the whole box yet because I want to do a video. Actually, he asked, are you doing a video? I said yes. <laughs> so later on, he was like, did you go in the box yet? And I was like, no, not yet. So she sends the best. Hawaiian treats. Um, all right, so this is like caramels, covered in chocolate, and macadamias. And that's one of my favorite nuts. This is a crunch with macadamias and crisp. And then this one is a covered macadamia, chocolate covered macadamia. Then Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> okay, and I'm trying to talk low because it's early and everybody is still sleeping. Okay, so onion and garlic macadamia. Oh, wow. Okay, I can't wait to try that. And then I saw these little, I saw these little gummies. These little pineapple gummies. And we love, you know, I'm always talking about the sweet treats. It's it's a, it's amazing that I've been able to lose some pounds, but I know I know how to pace myself, but we love sweet treats. And then I saw this, and I think I don't know if I've ever said it, but I mango is probably my my absolute favorite, most favorite fruit. I'm an island girl at heart, and uh I can just sit and eat mangoes. And my husband is from Florida, so <clears throat> when I moved from New York to Florida, you know, that was one of the things I would eat, eat, eat all the time, is mango. So look, mango gummies. And then, what is this? Pineapple. Oh my God, there are cookies in there, and I'm not, I'm not even going to open this on camera. There are cookies in there. Ginger. <laughs> okay, I did see these on the side of the box when I opened it, and I am so glad. Thank you so much, Ginger. So, in the, her prior package to me, there was tea in there, and I only, there were two boxes of tea. I'm down to half a box of tea, and I was thinking, how come I only have half a box of tea? Well, I, I forget. My husband also drinks tea, but my youngest son, Jared, you guys hear me talking about Jared all the time. He's a huge tea drinker as well. And um, like he'll drink a cup of tea before going to school in the morning. My granddaughters also drink tea, but my youngest granddaughter, she will, Nana, are you making tea? Nana, would you make me a cup of tea? So that's why I only have half a box left. <laughs> so this one is passion fruit orange. And this is a, a, oh, it's green and black. I've never had a mix of green and black tea. And this one again, mango peach, my favorite. Thank you so much, Ginger. T 
tea is one of my that's I'm a tea drinker. Coffee is okay for me, but I I drink tea. She did mention in her note. I guess she had um she had mentioned to Ida or Ida they had had some type of conversation about this um this seam binding and it is it's beautiful. It ha this is beautiful. It has like the um it has some glitter or sparkle on the edges of this binding. Pink. I actually like these two colors together. I know it's kind of weird. Look at this pink. This is beautiful. So beautiful. You guys need to tell me, like, because I don't, I don't use it often, but like, what kinds of things? you all use the seam binding for. Look at this, this one doesn't have the glitter on the edges, but it's beautiful, This the purples and the blue and the green. And then this one is a darker purple. This is beautiful, thank you so much for sharing with me, Ginger. Okay, and then this here, I don't know what this is. This is, first of all, it's a pretty cute little box. Oh, look, it's a first aid kit. And that is, you know what? I tell you, God is awesome. Because we're always at the field. We, um, the girls play softball. And now one of my granddaughters plays basketball. And my son plays wrestling. So we're always, like, out and about or, you know, involved in some sort of sporting something or other. And I needed, um, something to keep in my purse. And then finally, uh, a journal for reflection, a cup of faith, your daily devotional of gratitude and grace. This is awesome. She ha she always finds like the best devotional books. Okay, I know I'm I'm getting caught up and I'm looking through. Oh, look at this, and you have, you can actually, um, you can journal, or write the scripture. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, thank you, Ginger. This is awesome, so you can actually write the scripture that you are reading, or meditating on on that day this is fantastic thank you so much okay um went a little bit longer than i intended um thank you guys for watching and go check out if you haven't already go check out ginger's channel um I so appreciate you guys, you know, following along with Faithful Friday. And I really, my prayer is that we'll be able to revisit this collaboration in, um, in, in the new year. And in the meantime, guys, you know, take a scripture a day. Just, you know, wake up. The, the Bible is constantly telling us to renew our mind. And it does start there. It starts in our thoughts. And if we are filling our brains with the Word of God, then it starts to become our our natural nature to wake up and to worship Him or to talk with Him, talk with God, to, um, you know, the Holy Spirit will start to bring to your remembrance Scripture and God's Word as you need it. But you have to, you have to put it there in order for it to be brought to your remembrance. So I encourage you guys to continue on, you know, reading Scripture, even if it's just one Scripture. I know a lot of times we don't have the time to just read a whole chapter. You know, we get up and we're hustling and we're bustling and we're doing everything we need to do. But, you know, if you remember to at least read one scripture. If that's where you are right now, read one scripture and, you know, talk to him throughout the day because he's there. He's there. Um, I'm constantly, when I talk to my husband, you know, there are two scriptures that I'm 
often saying, and there's one in Deuteronomy, and I don't remember it off that offhand, but it talks about remember the Lord your God, that when you're full, when you've eaten, when you're satisfied, remember the Lord your God. And even on the reverse side of that, if you are, you know, anxious for something or, you know, you're going through some challenges, his word tells us, it says, draw near to God and I will, and he will draw near to you. And he's always there. I tend to forget sometimes that it's me, that I'm not coming to his presence or acknowledging him in my ways, but he is always there. Whether I come to him or not, he's always there. So you know without a shadow of a doubt that when you draw near to him, he is drawing near to you. Um, so I, I just like to encourage you to, um, to talk to him, talk with him. He already knows, but talk with him and at least a scripture a day, try to focus and meditate on his word and, and keep it in your mind. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.